Welcome back to Dart 101, the number. In this episode, I'm going to cover the numbers built in type. I'll start off with the integer, an arbitrary position number, and then the double as a floating point. And then I'll talk about parsing and to string or converting the number to string. Okay, to get started, I'm going to go to the Dart pad, and I'll have a link to this at the bottom at the end of the video. And to start with, I'm going to talk about how the number is a literal by default. So I can run this application, and you can see the number has no bearing on an exception there. Okay, so then I'm going to say number is 1, 2, 3, and this number is now an integer value, which is inferred on the consuming side there, on the left side. So that is an int value. So I could print that number and terminate terminate that line on the at the end there. And there we have one, two, three. My literal number is now printed on the right. Okay, so then I have in another number, and I'm gonna declare my intent, the type on the consuming side there, the left. And I'm going to produce the value on the right. So then I'm going to say one, two, three, four, four, or four. And then I'm going to print that another number and print it on the right there. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so then what if I wanted to declare it as a hex number? So I'm going to say my hex number is zero x. Zero hex says I'm going to type this integer value as hex. Um, a, B, C, D. And there's my hex number. So let's print hex out and see what it looks like. What is A, B, C, D? And on the right is 43,981. So that's my hex number. Okay, so what if I wanted to do a big integer? Well, you can do some big ints in Dart. And keep in mind, depending on if it's compiled to JavaScript or, or transpiled to JavaScript, you might have some uh, transpiling ch differences. Okay, but I'm not going to cover that in this episode. That'll be another one in the future. But let's talk about as in native code in this episode. So my big int is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. And I can say I could paste that a few times. And then I could print my big int. And you can get pretty high values in big int. And I won't cover that in this episode and we'll talk about big ants in the math in in the future okay so then i want to convert from integer and i want to talk about double so double now is let's say my double value is 12.34 and this is going to be my double value if i run this my that literal value does not complain or the compiler does not complain it about that here so that's my double value so i'm going to say my double value is going to be a position three four five and that double value this position consumes the double type or it's inferred that it's going to be a double because it has a decimal uh, value there so that's my position and i'll correct the spelling while i'm here and let's just print out position because it's fun to print in the console on the right for that for this tutorial so i'm going to give it some more space and lift this up okay so that's my inferred double value what well, if i want to declare it i can say double that's my intent type and then i'm going to say another position is 1.234 so i'm declaring my intent that this value is going to be a double and only a double so that's that reads uh, that's great when i want to tell my story and declare my intent to the plot in my novel and that makes it easier for the reader to understand what my variable type is okay so then i want to declare my intent so let's say another position and print that out and see what it looks like on, at the right so 1.234 Okay, so then, then what if I wanted to use exponents in my in my declaration, so or value declaration? So I'm going to go double exponent, one, two, three, four, five, e for exponent. This is adding zeros on. I'm going to add two zeros onto this number. So what's that look like? Exponent, and then I'm going to terminate my line and then run it. So if we look at one, two, three, four, five, and then two zeros, e 
and then add two zeros at the end. Okay, so that's my exponent. Now I want to, let's say I want to do some converting. I'm not going to cover all the, the double and integer library options. I'll show you how to get there, but I'm going to talk about the most common, and that's parsing and two-stringing them. And at least that's what I think is most common. So let's look at, uh, I'm going to say convert from a string value that is an integer. So let's say equals int. I'm going to call the int type and say parse my value. And there's auto assist saying there's an option for this method there. So parse string value 4321. And I want to convert that, and then I'm going to print that conversion, convert out, so we can see it in the console, so we can verify it works. Okay, 4321. So 4321 as a string, then is parsed into an integer value, and we print it out. What if I want to do that for double? So convert um, double is uh, double.parse, 43.21. And then I'm going to say print uh, convert to a double and then run it. And there we go, 4321 from a string double, string evaluates to a declared double type of convert to. Well, what if I want to say, um, I want to convert it to a string. So I want to say string, my value one is uh, let's say four three four three two one two string, and then I'm gonna say print value one as a string. So integer value then converts to a string value one, and then we'll run that. Okay, so that's four three two one. So what if I wanted to do that for a double? Now this is a little bit redundant because it's the same thing. Twelve. 12 to string. Now the thing about a double here, it looks kind of odd because there's two decimals, but I think that the compiler doesn't complain and I'll show you that effect. Okay, so let's lift this up here and then we'll run the application. So string value two and I forgot the equal sign and you can see DartPad's nice because it gives you the red underlines and complains and says that's not gonna work. And here we go, 12, 12. Now just keep in mind, it's okay to have two decimals here because the compiler understands you made a double to string. So let's just say there's some other libraries that you can convert. Let's, I'm gonna reference convert and I'm gonna do the period. And this brings up the auto assist list and you can see there's options here to use all kinds of, of number functions and that are handy, like floor to double, floor round and ceiling, all kinds of fun things. And that's for both integer and decimal. And, and in the math episode coming up in the future, we'll cover more of this in greater detail. So that concludes using the number built-in type in this episode. Thanks for watching. Follow me for more tips and tricks on Dart, and I'll catch you later.